Essentially what our goal is, is to help people to achieve the things they want and need to do, and that can be throughout the lifespan. So we help perhaps kiddos achieve their developmental milestones um, or putting supports in place to, to enable their um, lifestyle participation. Or it might be um, helping someone to get back to work or help someone to function with their hands. Um, so you find us in all sorts of weird and wonderful types of roles within the community. Yeah, so historically within the clinic we've offered a paediatric um, occupational therapy service and we decided we'd try to extend the scope to, I guess, um, increase the observational opportunities and practice opportunities for the students. And we thought including an adult scope, including home visits, would be a really nice way for them to practice those skills within the home environment. Um, there's also a lot of need within the community as well. Um, OTs are in hot demand and therefore getting a pre-operative um, home assessment as an example is quite challenging so we thought we could meet the community need in addition to offering the students the extended scope of practice opportunities. It's so great um, yeah everyone's lovely all the people are just like here to help want you to learn like their passion is to make us as educated as possible and you can feel that like even with the other educators that don't have anything to do with OT if we're looking lost or whatever like they're, they're ready and raring to give us a hand, which is awesome. So before studying OT, um, I was out at the mines driving trucks, so an operator. I actually had a back injury out at work four and a half years ago, and I worked with an OT really closely. She was really helpful in my recovery, and I decided that that would be a really good um, career pathway. Yeah, so we've got two students at any given time. They're here for a 10 week block. So at the moment I've got third year students, but they can also be fourth year students um, completing the assessments. Yeah, so we've also opened up a hand therapy clinic. So um, two afternoons a week, we're offering hand therapy assessments and interventions. Um, so that's where people present with some sort of hand pain or dysfunction, and we'll sit with the client and um, problem solve our way through how we can how we can help them. That might be um, introducing an exercise program. It might be uh, introducing a splint or an orthosis, um, or yeah, just generally giving giving them some functional advice around how to manage what, what they've got. I've been so impressed um, with the kindness and the, um, and, and the carefulness and the knowledge um, and I really feel I'm getting some you know, really uh, useful uh, advice as well as uh, practical help in getting on with my life and uh, enjoying the things I like to do. We're turning out high quality graduates. Um, I know that I lecture um, for a third year subject as well and I'm really impressed with the quality of students that we have. A lot of our students are also employed as OT assistants already or support workers or you know there's some sort of involvement within the health field as well so they're graduating with these wonderful placements in addition to that lived work experience and they can essentially hit the ground running with appropriate mentorship in place. Just like, I can't believe an OT can do that. There's so many things that an OT can do that I didn't know they could do, so it's awesome. The world is my oyster. I've heard that a lot. <laughs>